Penn State Hershey Medical Center. We run the, the full gamut of spine procedures from uh, minimally invasive procedures for back pain to simple lumbar discectomies, um, simple anterior discectomies for the cervical spine to the most complex uh, deformities and reconstructions. Uh, we do work with spine tumors, uh, infections, and trauma as well. On the east part of the campus, uh, they're building a new building that will house pretty much all the components of, of our spine program. It's a situation where the patient will be able to get a majority of the care that they need for their spine under one roof. If it be rehabilitation or therapy or injections to some sort of procedure, uh, whether it be something minimally invasive or less invasive or something uh, maximally invasive, whatever is necessary. To learn more, click on To Your Health Today on abc27.com. Brought to you by Penn State Hershey Medical Center. You're watching Brainstorm on ABC 27, presented by Penn State Hershey Medical Center. That's right, we're here with our doctors. They are answering all the calls right now. And meanwhile, I want to talk to another doctor, Dr. Elena Ferres, and she is a neuropsychologist. And you have something that's coming up that's very special you want people to know about. Yeah, we're having a free day-long training for family members, uh, care, family caregivers of brain tumor patients at Hershey Medical Center on Thursday, November 1st. It, it, the idea is that since brain tumors are fairly rare, that oftentimes it's the, really the first time that anybody's ever met anyone in their entire community with a brain tumor, and it's hard to know. You know, there's there can be neurocognitive, memory, and language side effects. There can be physical effects. It's hard to know how, how to transfer that care into home because really care giving is now at home for brain tumors. And so you're going to offer a seminar? Correct. And what, is the, what are the dates and is it free? And it's Thursday, November 1st. It is free. Um, it, there's a number to call to register. It's from 8 to 4 o'clock on the Hershey Medical Center campus. I happen to have that number for you. 1-800-243-1455. We'll give it to them again. 1-800-243-1455. One four five five. Yeah, I know when people hear brain tumors, it's such a, a fearful thing to hear. And for family members, I can only imagine what you help them get through. Absolutely. Sometimes as people are being discharged, you know, they say, well, you know, we're safe here in the hospital. There's specialists who know how to do with this. How exactly am I going to get home? How am I going to move him out of his bed and into his chair? Or how am I going to prepare his meals? And those are the kinds of things that we go over in this in this conference. Again, we want to let them know it's uh, from 8 to 4.30 on November 1st. And, uh, Please, they pre-register, give a call so you can come out and take part. Meanwhile, the doctors are still answering phones in these final minutes, Alicia. So if people want to give a call in, we have the number for them up on the screen. Please call. For sure. And just to give you an idea of how busy the neurosurgery department is at Penn State, uh, Dr. Sheen and I were just talking. I mean, the other day you had 24 new patients in a day. Right. I, it's almost mind-boggling. I can't believe it. And some are sent in from New Jersey or wherever else, but mostly from mostly from our mostly area. Mostly from around this area. All right, yeah. one last quick question, just really quick. How long does it take to be people to recover once they have brain surgery? Well, we've looked at the uh, the cognitive and psychological recovery with Dr. Frace, and in about four or 500 patients we've looked at, most people have an improvement in the first two weeks, so um, things move fairly quickly. We still expect them to be a little tired, a little bit sore, a little bit uh, empty of energy for a few weeks, but within a month or so, most people are up and at them. Okay, terrific. Hey, thanks for being with us. We really enjoyed it. We learned Thank a you. lot. Uh, we want to thank everyone at Penn State Hershey uh, and Penn State College of Medicine for their help with our uh, Working For You report tonight. We'll see you back at 11. Have a good evening.